Hi, this is Jeff Gagan with Your Lancaster Home TV, and today we're with Steve Richardson from Guardian Transfer. Steve, welcome. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, today we're going to talk about title insurance, something that most people don't think about when they're buying a home, and this is Steve's business. He knows this stuff. So, Steve, you want to talk about some of the reasons why title insurance is important and maybe the process. Yes, what we like to remind people is that title insurance protects you from the past as opposed to the rest of the insurance that you buy. You buy car insurance just in case you get in an accident. You buy life insurance in case you die. Title insurance protects you from the past. When you buy your home, you get a report that we issue called a title commitment. And a title commitment basically shows you who currently owns the property that you're buying. It gives you a list of the covenants, conditions, restrictions, or easements that may appear. And it also gives you your legal description of the property that you're buying. Which, of course, we all want to make sure we're buying the property that we actually put on the contract. That's so. correct. And what we ask people to do is when you get your uh, title commitment, to read through it to make sure you know what you can or can't do with your property. Uh, many times we get calls after closing because people didn't read that the uh, township had a sewer line that came through their front yard. They decided to replace the sewer line that came out and dug up the posies in the front yard and people were all upset. <laughs> and then we show them that, yes, there was a 10-foot wide utility easement for the purpose of a sewer line through the front yard. Now, do you find that typically the listings out there that people are buying, do they actually have their stuff disclosed on the listings or sometimes is that a surprise? Uh, sometimes people are a little surprised. Uh, especially if there are restrictions that you can't put pools in your backyard, you can't put a clothesline, uh, you can't build fences, that's usually where the surprises come. We all talk about the chickens you can't put in your backyard or the cows, but there's a lot of smaller things that might be problems as well. That's, that's correct, and a lot of times in the older uh, deeds we find that you can't have slaughterhouses or <laughs> you, know, you can't make soap on your Darn. property. So yes, there are some restrictions that we sometimes find that really aren't forced anymore. Uh, but they still appear in public record because they never get terminated. Okay. And what about property descriptions, the legal description that everyone's so excited to read? Why is that important to pay attention to that? A lot of times we ask people just to read over to make sure that they're familiar with where their property lines are, that um, the boundary lines you know, at least sound familiar sometimes. Uh, if there's a street name, people will call it and say, I'm not buying a property on that street. Mm. Uh, and then we have to go, we'll go back and research our work to make sure that yes indeed it is the correct legal description. So it's always better to have a, a second pair, sometimes a third pair of eyes uh, looking at the legal description. Now, so you've mentioned the title commitment a couple times. When can the buyer expect to receive a title commitment? Ordinarily we, re, uh, we issue our title commitments about five days after we get uh, the application. So pretty soon during the contract period. Pretty soon, uh, because this way, if there are issues, it gives the buyer uh, the opportunity to say, "Hey, this is this is something I can't live with if I purchase this house." Okay. Now, if a buyer wants to get one and they're not working with you and don't get one automatically, do they ask their agent to ask the title company? Or yes, they they can always go back and ask their agent for one, or we'd be more than happy to sell them one here at Guardian Transfer. Right. And speaking of which, if you have any more questions about title insurance, it's a pretty interesting subject. You can reach out to Steve at? Uh, if you send your email to srichardson at guardianclosings, with an S on the end, dot com, uh, I will get back to you. And, of course, you can always reach me at jeff at yourlancasterhome.com. Thanks, and have a great day.